as an instructor, when, when I teach, I really want to know what individual needs a child has. And I can really tell when I put them in cooperative groups what areas they need help with. From that point on, I can go ahead and split them up and do differentiated instructions. As soon as you understand the problem, you want an approach, before you take that approach, talk to your group members. Have a discussion, please. Amanda, what are you thinking? Like, I don't get it that much. You don't get it. Does somebody in this group get it? Do you get what's being asked? Like, I, I don't get it either. I don't get it that much either. Like, I understand it, but I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so let's talk. Let's there talk about more, it. More brown eggs and the oh, old yeah. hand now. Yeah. That's what you think too, yeah. but you don't know how to get there. Because what was I'm not sure. Oh, so you kind of did what, what Jonathan did in problem two. Yeah, so the common denominator is three. Okay, so, so I want you to talk to Amanda, and I want you to show Ali. First of all, show me how, because you've got your work really organized here, and you separated it, and you've labeled things. I want you to give them the first step on, on to first understand the problem. So go ahead and and let them know what they need to know. Okay, it's asking. What did you come up when you increased the numbers of um, white eggs to 30? Why did you do that? Why did you increase the number to 30? That's what I want to know. So I want to compare which one has the more. Like which one? Like this is more brown eggs, like the old hen house or the new one. Okay. And by having the same denominators? You want to like to combine it, right? You don't want to combine it because then if you combine it, can you compare it? No. Okay, so we're going to compare. Which one has more? You tell me. What answer did you come up with? The old hen house. Okay. And I like your method. I noticed that they didn't really have an understanding of ratios when I was walking around and looking at their work. They pretty much knew the steps on how to compare a ratio, but they didn't understand why. They didn't understand why they were increasing the denominator to be able to compare the numerators. They were just going according to what was taught with, to them in previous years. And I feel that I really needed to emphasize that they were comparing ratios based on the information the problem was giving. And 30 here in this fraction, what does it represent? It would represent 10 times 3. 10 times 3. And what did the 10 represent? Because we were putting ratios in, in um, fractions first. OK. So then, so then to, find which out, to find how much to find which one is more, we would actually, whichever one is left over, we would take the time and actually see which one would have more, the old or the new. Okay. So this is the old hen house, this is the new hen house. But what did you increase? What, what does 30 represent here? What is it the white eggs? Is it the brown eggs? If you're increasing the amount of eggs, if you're like pretending, you're saying, what would happen if... We increase what? Which one did you increase there? You got that. Honestly, I really don't know. Okay. I'm actually doing it. It's because You're doing I, I, just have, I just have a way of knowing what to do. So I don't label things. You don't label things? Well, not until the end. Not until the end. Okay. So then, um, yeah, we'll do this. Okay. So, then, so tell me. Continue your problem then. Okay. Teach me your approach. Show me. Okay. All right. So... 10 times 3 would be 30. So do the same thing to the 4, which would be 4 times 3, which would be what? 12. So write the 12 as a numerator. And okay, good. You do the same thing. You do the same thing at the bottom as 3 times 10. You do the same other one. Now, look, look at the operation. You can't look at the operation. Now, 
since the subtracting is, you have to subtract the numerators because the denominator can never change. So, so, so it would be 2 over 30. So put equal because 2 over 30. Because 12 and 10, if you don't subtract, right? It's 2 over 30. But you, you can't have the answer yet because look, they're both even. So you can, you can simplify. So then it would be, um, it would be 1 over 15. Okay. Now, so I want you I to... Got you got 15. 1 over 15. Yeah. Okay. I want you to take a look at the you actual question again. You, you're, you're doing perfect in your methods, but answer that question. Okay, go ahead. If both hen houses produce the same amount of eggs... Go ahead, continue with it. In which hen house will be more brown eggs? So then... Okay, tell me what you think the higher ratio is. Ah, and there you go. That's what I want you to tell me. This one had the higher ratio. Okay. So then that would mean that the old hen house would have okay. one brown egg. That would be There was one misconception that there was a young man in the front of the room that insisted on once finding the common denominators uh, to go ahead and subtract the numerators. And um, I kept trying to direct him in a way where I was just comparing. This was the problem with the old hen house and the new hen house. And I pretty much wanted them to compare just the numerators. And that there redirected me to pay attention to the numerators, show them specifically on the board, give them that visual representation of saying, now that we have the same amount of white eggs, which was the denominator, the representation of the denominator, let's look at the numerators to compare. And I believe by making that clear to them, he kind of said, oh, okay, I'm not finding, I'm not looking for the difference. And that was a misconception. He wanted to subtract the fractions, the numerators, because he had common denominators.